still here with your net play crochet. I wanted to do a quick uh, podcast episode for you guys, show you what I've been working on this past weekend, and do the 10 yarns tag. I think that was Crystal from Begadet Crochet originated this tag a little while ago, and I figured it'd be a fun way for you guys to kind of get to know me a little bit better and my preferences with yarns and all that good stuff. So here we go. Um, I will show you my current whip. I'm filming in the morning um, with my kids in the other room busy, so if I get interrupted, you know why. So I've been working this up this weekend. You see that? This is going to be a rainbow, triangle rainbow um, cowl scarf, and I am using uh, the actual name of the yarn is rainbow. It is from Ice Yarn. Can you see that? Those colors in there. I really have been liking it. I'm using an iris stitch on this, which has been working up really nice. It's kind of a fun stitch and it's really simple to work in the round because I am working in the round on this. And even though it's not necessarily a stitch that's designed to work in the round, I've been really happy with how it's stitched up. You can see, if you can see my seam on the back there, it is pretty well disguised. It's definitely not something that is obvious as opposed to where it is. You can see it runs right down here. I mean, if you're really looking for it, you can see it. And that might be a bit of the yarn too that kind of disguises it, but I've been really happy with how this is working in the round. I really like the colors. Um, I was really, really pleased with how bright and vibrant these colors were when I got this yarn in the mail. And it has been pretty nice to work with overall. Um, <clears throat> not sure if I'm going to keep this one though. To be honest, I, um, I liked the colors in the skein. I think a little bit better than I like the way that it's working up, at least for, for me. Um, yeah, I have to decide. I'm not sure if I'm keeping this one or not, but either way, it does look really, really pretty and it is very striking. I'm going to make it obviously a little bit longer. So it goes, um, cause right now if I were to stop, it would stop right at like bosom level. Um, I want it to go down a little bit farther and then I'm going to put, I think a white, um, final row around it and then do a really pretty fringe. Cause I really like fringy, um, scarves and cowls twisting up the, the fringe on there, I think just makes it look really pretty. So that is my current whip. Um, if you're interested in this yarn, I will be doing a full in-depth review of this yarn. I'll probably be filming that tonight um, and working on getting that up for you. And you can, in the meantime, you can take a look at the links in the description if you want to see all the colorways that they have of this. The only thing that I had to figure out how to do was how to make that triangle V and increase my stitches so it didn't look weird with the stitch um, <clears throat> pattern, excuse me. And so it's, it wasn't too bad to figure out how to make that V or that point. Um, it went from being, it made, it made it go from a one row repeat to a two row repeat, but it still, it was pretty simple. Uh, if you are interested in me doing a tutorial on this, I will definitely show you guys what this looks like when it's all finished up. Uh, and if you want a tutorial on how to make this cowl, let me know in the comments. So that is my current whip. Uh, and then I will just jump into the 10 yarns tag. So uh, we'll just go through one to 10. I'll tell you all my favorites. So number one is what's your favorite color of yarn? <clears throat> um, that's really hard. I, I, there, it really depends on the yarn for me, what my favorite color is. Like Different colorways, I feel like, in different yarns look a little bit different, but I tend to gravitate towards warmer colors. Uh, red has always been my favorite color ever since I was a kid. When I was in junior high, I painted my entire bedroom bright red, including the ceiling, which props to my mom and dad for letting me do something like that. Um, and I really liked it. I would not do that again as an adult, but when I was in junior high, I, le I liked it a lot. Um, so I tend towards warmer colors, reds, oranges, some yellows, depending on the shade. 
uh, and things like that. But I have really been getting into some really pretty like royal blues and some turquoise shades and some mint green shades. I like those a lot. And I've really been vibing on neutrals lately too. That's not exactly an answer. <laughs> Um, what my favorite color of yarn is, but yeah, there it is. Uh, what's my favorite weight of yarn? I definitely prefer four weight yarn. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go, I'll do a DK weight. I'll do a three weight. Uh, but anything skinnier than that, I don't really do. Um, this here is a three weight yarn. And I'm really liking how that's working up. And it hasn't taken too long to work this up. I think I spent, I think I've been working on this for the last two days. Which for you speed crocheters out there might not look like I got a lot done in two days. But crocheting with kids and filming and editing. I feel like I've made some really good progress on that in two days. Uh, but my preferred weight of yarn is a four. I like chunky yarns. I don't really work with anything higher than a five weight that often, but I have, and that can be fun too, depending on the project. But I feel like four weight is just, it, it works up pretty quickly and you can do pretty much anything you want to with it. So four weight's probably my favorite. Uh, my favorite style of yarn. Um, I would say that chain spun yarns are probably my favorite. Uh, just because I like the way that they work up really easily. Like when I'm working with them, it's really nice to work with them. Um, yeah, I would say probably chain, then roving, then ply yarns. I don't have anything against ply yarns. I still use them all the time. Um, most of what I have in my stash is plied yarns. But I'm, I don't know, and when I'm trying to just get things knocked out quickly, um... And I can't be as intentional with how I'm stitching. Plies can be a little bit splitty sometimes. But I, I yeah. I would say chain, then roving, then ply. Uh, my favorite uh, fiber of yarn. My favorite fiber of yarn is definitely going to be anything that doesn't have a lot of fuzz to it. I'm not really a fuzzy yarn person. I usually gravitate towards things that don't have a big halo and um, don't aren't going to be things to pill up easily. So that usually turns into like cotton acrylic blends. I really like working with cotton acrylic blends. Um, yeah, I don't have anything against fuzz or halo, but I, I don't know. It's, it, I feel like the... the um, wear and tear on those show up a little bit easier and I'm definitely a wash and go kind of yarn person um, I want something that's going to be durable that I can throw in the washing machine and not be super anxious about how it's going to come out so that's what I tend to go to for my favorite fiber just for the sake of durability uh, my favorite brand of yarn that is easily available in my country um I'm in the States, if you couldn't already tell. Um, I live in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I would say probably my favorite brand that's easily accessible here is probably Hobby Lobby. They have a really good selection. I feel like the quality of their yarns is a little bit better than maybe some other big box store um, store brands like Loops and Threads or um, Big Twist. Uh, not that I don't like those yarns, but I just, I don't know. I feel like the quality is a little bit better. You do pay more. Definitely don't go shopping at Hobby Lobby unless it's a 30% off week, which is every other week. So it's not like you have to wait a long time. So yeah, I'd say that's probably my favorite um, brand that I can easily get here. Brand not available, easily available on country. I'm going to call this my bucket list yarn. I would love to try Noro. Um, I just drool over all of the yarn that I see that's Noro. I can get it here in the States. It's not that it's hard to get here, uh, but I just have not ever spent the money on it. I just, I'm a budget yarn person. Um, everything, all, all the yarns that I buy, I always have a number in the back of my head of what I can't go over when I spend. 
And so I just cannot justify spending those kind of prices on yarn to get a Noro, but I would love, love, love to try it. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. Um, I guess my coffee here. Favorite yarn store online? Definitely Ice Yarn. I am always been very pleased with my experience with Ice Yarn. I've definitely had some hits and misses, which if you have watched any of my in-depth yarn reviews, you probably know that. Um, some of them I really like and would definitely recommend buying again, or I would buy again. And some I get it, and I think that it's going to be great. Thinking specifically of Cotton Pastel. Still a little heartbroken about that. I had such high expectations for that yarn. I really did. And then I just didn't like it at all. So, um, but I would say overall ice yarn, bang for your buck, the amount that you get, even after the shipping costs, when you break it down per skein, um, I can't get that wide, wide variety of yarn that they have available on their website um, anywhere else. Like they, they, they knock it out of the park as far as variety of yarn. And... Uh, I really in, have enjoyed the vast majority of things that I've ordered from Ice Yarn. Um, but if ever there's something that I get that I don't like, I will definitely tell you. I'll be straight up with you about that. Um, favorite brick and mortar? I already said that. Hobby Lobby, probably. Um, I do like Michael's a lot. And I do... Joanne's is okay. I don't know why. I just I kind of prefer Michael's. Maybe I feel it... I kind of feel like the selection's a little bit better at Michael's. Maybe I'm wrong. If y'all love Joann's and you're in the States, tell me why. Like, if that's just your jam, tell me why. And if you are not in the States, if you are live somewhere internationally and there is a different, like, big yarn chain store um, in your country, tell me about it. I'm curious. I want to know. I love learning about things um, in different countries. Here's a little known fact about me. I actually went to college um, and my major was intercultural studies. So I went to school um, and got a degree in um, learning how to communicate because my minor was communications. So uh, how to communicate uh, cross cultures really well. So yeah, I, I, I love everything about oh, all the different cu cultures and societies on this big beautiful globe we live on um do I keep scrap yarn and what do I do with it I do keep my scrap yarn I need to clear out some of my scrap yarn uh, at one point we were just really tight on money and I just didn't buy yarn for probably honestly probably a good few years and I had had enough stashed away that I was just using all of my scrap yarn and I made a lot of really pretty projects with that. Like I, there's one um, scrap afghan that I made, um, like a car seat blanket for one of my kids. And I got more compliments on that little scrap afghan blanket than any other item I have ever crocheted. People commented about it all the time. Um, so you can uh, do fabulous things with scrap yarn. But I would keep them to the point where they were just these tiny little itty bitty balls. I'm like, okay, I can't even make a pom-pom out of this. Like, I need to, it needs to go. So, um, doing a little bit less with scrap yarn these days, but definitely still keep it. Still find fun ways to, to use it. For a while, what I did, because I didn't want to have to try and match colors because it was too complicated, I just would reach into my yarn bag or my yarn bin and I'd close my eyes and I'd reach in there and I'd grab whatever ball um, I'd dig around and grab whatever I had. And that was what the next rose color was going to be. And I did that. That's how I made that scrap afghan. I just completely did it random. Um, so that was kind of fun. If you're looking for something different to do with your scrap yarns. Uh, my favorite thing to crochet. I really go back and forth. I really do love making amigurumi things. Uh, but I had surgery on my wrist when I was young. When I was in high school. And so just doing those super tight little stitches can aggravate that sometimes. So I can't do a ton of amigurumi projects in a row. Um, so I kind of go back and forth. I really love amigurumi. I really love making scarves and cowls. I really love making things for my kids. I, I don't tend to do giant projects like big sweaters 
or big blankets and things like that. I still make them. Uh, but for me, with my four girls, it's I know that I'm not going to have the time that I want to to just like chug away at those bigger projects. And I hate just having things sitting in my whip basket for months on end. So I tend to work on smaller things. Like I like to make loveys, which is a really actually fun way to combine amigurumi and traditional crochet. Um, I like making scarves. I like making blankets for my kids. I like making all kinds of things. And I, I mean, my kids are so sweet. They, they love pretty much everything that I make. So that's kind of fun. Uh, if I could, this is the last question here. Crochet one thing for the rest of my life and what yarn would I use? I don't know what yarn I would use. That's too hard to pick. Um, I'd probably make something fun for my kids. I might make them like cute matching sweater sets or matching dresses or something like that. I think that that would be really fun. Um, what yarn would I use? I don't know. Something cotton. Um, I like I Love This Cotton from... Uh, Hobby Lobby OK. My favorite cotton acrylic blend is Lorena Worsted from Ice Yarn. I really like working with that. I don't know. I don't know. It's too hard to pick. There's too many options. Um, I don't know. I you know what? No, I do. I would I would go for one of those bucket list yarns, one of those like luxury yarns that I don't always have the ability to access or or spend the money on I would I would try one of those and I'd make something really beautiful out of that that's what I would do yeah I think so mm. now my gears are turning um if you liked this I'm really glad that you hung out with me today uh what are your answers to the 10 questions put them in the comments I will put in the description box all the 10 questions so you can see exactly what they are so you can reference back to that and leave your comments because I really want to get to know you guys better as well. Um, I think I've been having so much fun making these videos. I really, really have. Um, and I'm just so excited to see kind of our, our little community here growing. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. That way more people can see these videos. And so our little community here can get bigger. Um, if there's any suggestions or tips that you have for me, things that you would like to see on my channel, please let me know. Uh, I have been doing lots of yarn reviews. Excuse me. Um, and specifically ice yarn reviews. Just because there is a lot. Um, I mean, there's so much. And you can't get your hands on it before you try it. So I feel like that's helpful. And Ice Yarn doesn't have um, care instructions for their yarns on their website. So I try and always do a wash test to show exactly how it comes out and how durable the yarn is. So if there's anything else that you'd like me to include in my yarn reviews, please let me know. But I always try and think through all the questions that I would have before I bought a yarn um, and put those in my reviews. So... Yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And we'll see you next time. Bye.